Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at the 34th edition of what I like to call What I Eat Wednesdays, where we take a look at some of those What I Eat in a Day as a Fat Person videos on TikTok. Normally, this is the part where I say, I can't believe we're 34 episodes deep, but I think that shtick is getting a little old. We're also going to be taking a look at a couple of bonus Starseed clips. This is my happy face. Are you disturbed? I'm pretty disturbed by it myself. Let's say hello to Lily, the subscribe puppy. Hey, Lily. Oh, she's a licky. She's a little lickerton. Please subscribe to the channel. I've decided that she should have a southern accent. She should be the same voice as Punchy, but with a southern accent. Please subscribe to the channel. I feel like I'm doing like a Sandy Cheeks impersonation now. If that's not worth a like, I don't know what is. In order to get my pancreas to release some insulin, I must first apply comb to mustache. What a fatty fat bitch eats in a day. What a fatty fat bee eats in a day. That looks like something from a food truck. So I started off with a sausage, bacon and cheese bap. The so a sausage, bacon and cheese bap? So I started off with a sausage, bacon and cheese bap. Bap? What the hell's a bap? Uh, look like a sandwich to me. Is that what you guys call a sandwich over there? What are you guys doing? Okay, seriously. If you're from the UK, what is happening over there? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just an uncultured American. Pay me no attention. So I started off with a sausage, bacon, and cheese bap. It would take me literal seconds to look this up, but that's not how we do things on this show. If I'm a moron, just tell me in the comments below. You can be my Google. The sausages were a bit pale, so I'd give it 6 out of 10. Oh, you're rating it. Okay, the sausages were a bit pale, so we're giving it a 6 out of 10. I tend to agree. You know, we need a good sear on that sausage. I'm going to have to agree with you here. Then for dinner, I had tuna sandwich, watsits, and an orange. Tuna sandwich, watsits, and an orange. I saw Cheetos on there, too. Are you not going to talk about the cheese puffs? Or is that what you're calling watsits? I'm guessing the Watsits were the Cheetos puffs that they just showed. Is that also some weird slang that I'm not familiar with? What's going on here? A very boring dinner. Then for tea, I had a lemon and mushroom curry. Oh, right. You guys call dinner tea over there. Okay. It looks like it's mostly just rice to me, which makes sense, because if you got this from a restaurant, they want to hit you with a bunch of filler. It wasn't the best, so 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Oh, well, that's still a really good rating. And that's the end of that chapter. Um, so we have two different kinds of what I eat videos. We have the one where people list everything that they actually ate. And then you're like, oh my God, that's crazy. And then you have the one where people lie blatantly about what they ate. They're like, here's what I had to eat today. One ice cube. But the person is 500 pounds. You're like, what? Something's not adding up here. You know, I may not be the smartest fella. But uh, something A plus B squared isn't equaling C squared here, at least by my math. This is all you had all day. If this is what you had all day, I would say that you would likely lose weight. The only bad things that I'm seeing here really are the Cheetos and maybe a little excess rice with that lemon mushroom curry. Everything else is whatever. That sausage, bacon, and cheese bap, bop, whatever you called it, uh, was just a sandwich. There was just a couple pieces of bread on there, a couple buns. It looked like a sandwich to me, so I'm guessing that BAP is just slang for sandwich. Did you know the sandwich was created by the Earl of Sandwich? I don't know if that's true, but I heard that once. And then for lunch, you had a tuna sandwich, Cheetos, and an orange. The only bad part about that was the Cheetos. And then for dinner, you had a lemon mushroom curry. I don't know what kind of meat was in that, uh, if any at all, or if it was literally just mushrooms and lemon with curry spices on some rice. I have no idea. Either way, I'm going to have to give this one a 4 out of 10. If that's all you had for the day, that's really not that bad. But as I've said before, I think this particular community might struggle with underreporting from time to time. Am I just being cynical? No, it is the children who are wrong. Next. Hi guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Remember, I'm fat and I don't eat healthy. Okay, I'm remembering that you're fat 
and you don't eat healthy, okay? So what's this thing? Last night I went to Bucky's and I brought home some breakfast, which was this jalapeno and cheese kalashi. Jalapeno and cheese kalashi. Okay, I've never heard of that, but we can clearly see that it's uh, bread. The kalashi means bread. I'm so sorry if you're triggered by the way that I say kalashi. Y'all came from my throat last time, but that's just how I say it. How dare you say kalashi? That's a kalash, maybe. I don't know. I've never heard of this thing either. Subway motherfucker. Who? For lunch, I had this bomb ass sandwich that my mom made for me. It was super good. It reminded me of my veggie sandwich. For any of y'all who remember my veggie sandwiches, it was so good. Then. Okay, you just showed yourself eating the kalashi the whole time, and you're talking about a sandwich. Okay, so you had some sort of miscellaneous sandwich that you didn't show and you didn't tell us what was in it. Okay, and then you ate a bunch of piles of raw dough with powdered sugar on it. A classic. Good. Then for a snack, I had two of these homemade wedding cookies that my mom made. and I Wedding cookies that your mom made, and I also had a butter croissant that we got from Sam's. I also had a butter croissant that we got from Sam's. Your girl is normally not a bread girl. My girl is normally not a bread girl. Okay. But, girl, these butter croissants were so good. Yes, all croissants are delicious. You really have to screw up to mess up a croissant. If it's even the slightest bit fresh, it's delicious, of course. It's butter and bread. Who doesn't love that? Literally, look at how hard I'm smiling. That bread literally was so good. Okay. Literally. Okay, so yesterday after we went to Bucky's, we went to Rudy's barbecue and I brought home leftovers because I didn't finish my food, so that's what I'm having for dinner. I had leftover pulled pork, cream corn, and some potatoes. Pulled pork, creamy corn, and potato salad. Salad with, yes, another motherfucking croissant. Another croissant? Why are you cursing so much? But anyways, like I always tell y'all guys, that's enough about me. What did you eat today? Bye. Bye. All right, let's take a look at this sucker and add it up. So you started the day off with some jalapeno and cheese kalashi, as you called it. I'm not familiar with this dish, so I'm not going to correct you on its pronunciation. Then you had a sandwich of unknown origins, or rather, we didn't know what was in it. Then you had some cookies, a croissant, Later on, you had pulled pork, creamy corn, potato salad, and a croissant again. This would strike me as a fairly typical diet uh, that a lot of people would have. All right, I've come to a decision. On this one, I'm going to have to give it a 3 out of 10. Too many carbs, too many cookies. A tale as old as time. Next. All right, this is the person that normally has a lot of very interesting things to eat. In the day is a tuned for six pound fat woman. First two orange rolls with water. Two orange rolls with water. They looked like cinnamon buns to me. Um, so I'm guessing it's some sort of bread that's glazed in some sort of sweet orange sauce. That sounds gross. You know orange sauce from Chinese food if you were to just pour that on some bread? A super teddy bear frozen from Big Beeps. A super teddy bear frozen from Big B. Okay, a milkshake. Some salad, a chef salad with ranch. Chef salad with ranch. A Diet Dr. Pepper. Some more water as well. Almonds and a cookie. Oh, wait, those almonds were covered in some sort of sugary stuff. Vanilla caramel drumstick. Vanilla caramel drumstick. It's not caramel. You can see by the way that it's spelled right here, there's an A after the R. Caramel, not caramel. Caramel would be C A R M E L. More water. A little bit of Diet Dr. Pepper. A little bit of Diet Dr. Pepper. Three nuggets of bacon McDouble. Three nuggets, a bacon McDouble, and a McChicken with extra mayo. MC Chicken. Yo, that's my favorite rapper, son. Why did the chicken cross the road? Yo, I don't know, but you better watch out when I roll. I spit hot fire, son. I spit hot fire. Who are the five greatest rappers of all time? Dylon, 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 and Dylon. And a McChicken with extra mayo, some fries. 
some fries, a zero sugar Kool-Aid, and two muffins, and some peppermint puffs. A zero sugar Kool-Aid, and two muffins, and some peppermint puffs. I had eight, and two fruit snacks. I had eight, and two fruit snacks. Eight what? Of the peppermint puffs? or eight plus two fruit snacks, as in 10. I don't understand what you're trying to say. So we started to scroll down a little bit on the page again. Um, this person is just the only honest person on here, if we're being honest. One could argue that she's a similar size to a lot of these other people, yet what she reports that she eats is four times more. Can you imagine being obese and like making these what I eat in a day videos, and then you just under report? You only report a quarter of what you eat? And then you go on to say like, see, I don't even eat a lot or eat unhealthy. Like, what are you doing? It feels more like you're lying to yourself than lying to the external audience, doesn't it? Okay, so you started the day off with two orange rolls and some water. Absolutely disgusting. Get that water out of here. Then later on, you had a milkshake and a chef salad with ranch. I don't know if these two accompanied each other or what exactly the timeline is with most of these. You had a Diet Dr. Pepper, some sweet almonds. They were almonds coated in some sort of sugary stuff. And then a cookie, and then a vanilla caramel drumstick, and then another Diet Dr. Pepper. Three nuggets for some reason. I don't know how you managed to get a three pack of nuggets. A bacon McDouble, a McChicken, fries, Kool-Aid, muffins, peppermint puffs, and two fruit snacks. There's a whole lot of carbs and a whole lot of sugar in this day, as well as fast food and chemical stuff. You had no protein of any sort in the beginning of your day. Processed carbs and sugar all the way, as well as artificial sweeteners. All right, I'm gonna have to give this one a one out of 10. This person's diet is very sporadic. There was one that I covered from her before that started off with eggs and sausage and toast and stuff and then it still went completely off the rails so but mostly their diet consists of fast food and processed carbs and sugar i don't know how somebody can afford to eat out for every single meal and never make one actual meal themselves it's it's kind of mind-boggling what this person has that nobody else has is honesty let's be real every other person is lying <laughs> Now we're going to switch it up a little bit and learn about star seeds. Is your soul from Earth or is it from the Pleiades? How can we even know without watching some videos to educate us on this topic on TikTok? Oh, a little bit of background on this person. This person is named Nicole and they have this cult called the like Unicorn Cult or the Una Nicole Cult or something like that. I've actually seen a documentary on this person and their cult before on Vice or one of those other friggin' channels. I'm a starseed. A lot You're a starseed. If you proclaim it, then it is so. That's all the proof that I need. Oh, you're still there. All right, I guess let's watch this. A lot of people ask me, how do I know if I'm a starseed? But nobody seems to ask, what is it like to be a starseed? So are you not going to answer the question, how do you know that you're a starseed then? You're just going to gloss over that? Talk about what it's like? We just assume that you're not lying and uh, take you at face value and now uh, tell us what it's like. Star seeds are alien consciousness born into human bodies. Because of our unique energy signatures, we have pretty hard lives. Oh yeah, tell me more, dude. Yeah, but what's your sign? Are you a Leo? Are you adjunct Aquarius or conjunct or is the freaking moon in Aries or some crap? What? This is just new astrology, like I've said before. Like people are like, I'm not just a boring person with no personality. I'm a star seed. Why do you have this spiral in the background? Are you trying to hypnotize me with all this starseed rhetoric? Being a starseed is a super lonely experience. It is it? Because I've seen literally millions of other people online claiming to be a starseed. If you look at the starseed hashtag on TikTok or Instagram or any of these other places, you will find that there are millions of people who call themselves starseeds. It might be due to a lack of personality and they want to feel unique and special. Are you like deep? and wise and an old soul you might be a starseed which is funny because we can use general terms and say positive things about people and anybody will identify with it you have really strong intuition and you're really smart sometimes you don't fit in with other people 
but you seem to understand things on a deeper, more spiritual level than other people. You're super, super unique. You're an old soul, dude. I'm not saying that any of these things can't be true. I'm just saying that anybody would identify with any of this stuff. If I say something positive about you, like, dude, you're not like the rest of these people. You actually get it. You would be like, yeah, he's right. I am really smart. <laughs> like, that's just human nature, dude. You can really fluff somebody up with compliments so you can take advantage of them. It feels like nobody understands you and it feels like your family is far away in space. How does it feel like your family is far away in space? Can you explain that feeling? Is it like a tingling? Is it a burning in the back of your throat? Please explain. That's a very complex feeling. You know, most feelings are like sadness, happiness, that type of stuff but this feeling is that your real family is out in space that's a very complex and very involved feeling is it not do you ever feel like you're missing out on that super special show that you never went and watched on broadway no that's way too complex to be a feeling <laughs> that's got way too many steps star seeds have a super different energy signature than other earthlings because you have a super different energy signature than other earthlings well, if I didn't believe you before, I believe you now that you used the phrase super different energy. Why are you covered in tattoos? Can you guys imagine an alien coming to Earth, traveling millions of light years to incarnate here, and then getting tattoos like every other human being? Yeah, you're super unique, dude. You're covered in tattoos. Oh, never seen that before. Oh, man, you really are special. I say this as somebody with tattoos, you know. Okay, I regret every one of my tattoos. I got all these for whatever stupid purpose. There's really no good reason to get one. You're like, I memorialized my dead uncle right here on my arm. Like, why? You think he's looking at you from the afterlife and he's like, hmm, now my life was finally worth it. Joe Bob put a tattoo of me on his arm. I'm forever memorialized. As of this, they're often diagnosed with severe mental illness because... <laughs> You sure that's why they're often diagnosed with severe mental illness? And it's not because they keep saying that their spirit is from Arcturia or the Pleiades or whatever? You sure that's not why they keep getting diagnosed with that? I told my therapist that I'm actually from Mars and they keep diagnosing me as having a mental illness. They just don't understand, yo. They don't get the starseed culture. How many people would say that they were starseeds if they hadn't heard somebody else talk about this? People will feel all kinds of ways if you suggest it to them. They're like, you ever feel lonely and sad? That's because you're a starseed. Like, you can really take advantage of people like that. So their in inability to just go about life like nothing is wrong. They can see the corruption in place very clearly. And your soul has to be from another planet to see the corruption clearly. That's weird, man. I would just call that having a functioning brain. The positives are that you're usually super smart and also really psychic. Oh, you're really psychic. This evolved being, this alien, um, is wearing makeup and is covered in tattoos. Like every other person who's desperate for attention. That's weird. And if you can learn how to master your interdimensional traveling with your conscious energy, you don't have to feel lonely and you can connect to your family in space. Also, as the internet expands on these topics, you can find other starseeds like you. Unicult, for example, is my cult full of starseeds. That's interesting because when I first heard of the Unicult through some documentary on YouTube, um, I don't believe there was any mention of starseeds at all. I think you're just trying to bring more people into your cult by adopting this starseed thing. It's really quite fascinating. There was a whole documentary about this person in the Unicult, and their whole thing was like, yo, just fake happiness until you actually become happy. The idea of the cult was that you can just pretend to be happy and eventually the happiness will sink in. You're choosing happiness or whatever. And now, however long later, like years later since I saw that documentary, she's adopting the starseed thing. You're basically just casting your fishing line out into a sea of gullible people and trying to recruit them into your particular cult. Tune into the next video to find out if you are a starseed. Dude, that's silly. I don't need to tune into the next video. <laughs> I know I'm a starseed. I am the starseed commander. Do you ever wear the color blue? Have you been outside of your house within the past week? Do you sometimes feel sad and lonely? You are a starseed. None of these are just normal parts of being a human being. You're special. You're way more special than all these other people. We're not just taking advantage of you because you're gullible. <laughs> next. What we've got here is angelic light language for full system clearing plus DNA repair. 
Okay, thank God. I've needed a full system clearing for quite a while. Is that what happens when you eat some undercooked chicken? You get a full system clearing? <laughs> oh, that salmonella will do it to you every time, I'm telling you. This is gonna be a full system clearing and upgrade, allowing you to anchor stronger frequencies, more of your consciousness in the body, holding more light in the body. Okay, uh, what else can you teach me? They all do the same thing. Isn't it funny how one person will do some silly stuff and then like put it out there and then people just start imitating it? It could be the dumbest thing ever and people will imitate it. All you have to do is be an original one person needs to be an original at one point, and then people will infinitely just mimic what you did because you did something different. All right, I'm going to have to disagree with that. Um, I, I totally disagree. I think you're way off base. Honestly, I'm a little offended uh, by all that stuff you just said. Clearing, 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 clearing. Dude, all this reminds me of that movie Apocalypto. Like the language that they're speaking. It's like, it's just saying random noises that come to your mind. It's somewhat of a talent because all this random noise stuff doesn't come to my mind. I just think of English. So it is somewhat of a talent. Ushimake doki taki. Hearing thought programs, loops, 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 loops. Thought programs, loops, 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 loops. Luckily, I'm pretty sure that all these people don't believe any of this. They're just doing this for attention and whatever weird stuff they're doing. I don't know, man. It's really bizarre. To try to convince random strangers on the internet that you have, like, powers, like, superhuman powers and stuff, I don't know what you even call that. Like, there's normal narcissism, and then there's intergalactic narcissism, okay? Loops, thought programs, patterns you're getting stuck in. I don't know about that, dude. Um, I'm gonna have to disagree. Dude, all these hand movements are annoying. It's so annoying. What? Gibberish, gibberish, gibberish. A bunch of sounds that I made up for no reason. I have powers. I don't know what you're selling here, but I'm buying it. Okay, that is a good point. Um, I'm gonna have to give it to you. Healing self image here. Healing self image here. Okay, so among all the gibberish, you throw in some actual words. So I could be like, Hashamaka Duki, Ding Dong, Walalala Bing Bong, Clearing Energy Fields, Shakalaka Ding Do. Clearing shame, guilt, unworthiness. Clearing shame, guilt, unworthiness. Well, I don't understand that gibberish. I understood shaka laka ding dong, but clearing guilt, shame, and what? You're just making weird noises now. Moving these energies out. The body dude, I would love for this person's mom or sister to walk in while they're in the middle of doing this, dude. They'd be like, Hama Lama Ding Dong Show. Oh, I wasn't doing anything. I don't know, man. I, I I wasn't doing... You saw that? How long were you standing there watching me do that? How do you explain this to your mother? <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You overhear your parents in the next room talking about how disappointed they are in you after witnessing this display. They're like, yeah, I don't know where we went wrong. You know, we, we gave her all the best schooling. We paid for the expensive books. We paid for that tutor that one time. I don't know where we went wrong. This kid is going down a dark path. Okay, I think I'm starting to feel the DNA repair uh, coming on. Moving densities, clearing densities. Moving densities, clearing densities. Releasing entities. Releasing entities. Okay. Uh, were they held captive within my being and now I have to release them into the ether? I don't know if we should do that. I don't know if the world is ready for this. Attachments, distortion, templates, rakatroko. <laughs> Attachments, distortions, templates, templates, what, like a resume template? Like what, what? An email template? Like, yo, you're going to want to use this format? What? What? 
the light language that they speak sounds like in Hollywood movies when they're trying to speak Aztec or Mayan or something like straight up. This straight up sounds like something from a Hollywood movie that's about the Aztecs or the Mayans or whatever. Like that movie Apocalypto, like I said. That was a good movie, man. Hundreds of angelic beings surrounding you, surrounding you, surrounding you. Okie dokie. I'm gonna have to agree with that. Uh, hundreds of angelic beings surrounding you. If you say these words out loud, then it's, then it's real. Protection spell. Protection spell. Put yourself inside of the anti-sea bear circle and do this chant. I feel like I'm ascending. Or maybe it's diarrhea. I don't know, man. It's hard to tell. There's a lot of bubbling in the stomach. If you enjoyed this video <laughs> and you would like to see more like it, be sure to leave a big thumbs up. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.